Moving on to the next question, question 12. If Sohan, while selling two goats at the same price, makes a profit of 10% on one goat and suffers a loss of 10% on the other. So he makes a no profit lo no loss, he makes a profit of 1%, he suffers a loss of 1%, he suffers a loss of 2%. These are the options. So this is a tricky question. Uh, you shouldn't miss out this point. He is selling two goats at the same price. So uh, if he is selling two goats at the same price and making w profit on one and loss on the other, that means the two the price of the or original price of the goat was different for both the goats. So for example, say X was the price of one goat. He is selling it for 1.1 X, making 10 percentage profit here. And Y was the price of second goat. He is selling it for 0.9 Y, making loss of 10 percentage here. So it is given this 1.1 X and 0.9 Y are same. This is equal. He is selling two goats at the same price, right? Uh, so his initial investment uh, was x plus y. And uh, this sum is his final selling price. So what percentage is that is the question. So instead of working with percentage, there is one trick. That you can work with numbers so that uh, it is less confusing for a lot of people. You can do directly with this x and y and percentages but i think the working with some absolute numbers makes it easier so in this case if we want we want to find x and y so when we when we we uh, um, when we f go for finding x and y we will have to uh, we will have division with 11 and 9 so one trick is in such cases, we can assume the original selling price as a random number that is divisible by both 11 and 9. So 11 into 9, say 990. So how did I choose 990? 11 into 9, uh, which is 99. So 990. So to get a whole number, I just randomly chose. He sold his both goats at 990 rupees. So we know that 990 is 1.1x. And 990 is 0.9y. So now we can easily find x. x is nothing but 990 by 1.1. 1 .1 or this can be written as 11y into 10, right? So this becomes 90. So we get x as 900. Similarly, y, if you find out 990 by 0 0.9, equal to 990 by 9 into 10. So 11 or we have 1100 as our y so we got our x and y so x plus y becomes 2000 so 2000 is x plus y which is the original price of two goats he sold we assumed 990 is the price at which he sold both goats so total selling price is 990 plus 990 uh, which is 0 18 1 1980 this is the total selling price which is 990 plus 990 okay so if you see uh, he made a net loss of 20 rupees he made a net loss of 20 rupees 2000 minus 1980 he made a net loss sorry i wrote it as 20 20 rupees so 20 is one percentage of this. You can clearly see that if you divide it by 100, you get 20. The 20 percentage is 20 is one percentage of this. So he suffers a loss of one percentage is the correct answer. So as you can see, if you when you work with numbers, you can quickly divide and find out that percentage easily. So you don't have to write this all these steps so explicitly or so. Um, well-defined steps you don't need it in the exam hall so you can quickly work it out with uh, at the side and at a very faster pace than this so i hope you understood um he made he suffers a loss of one percentage so one common mistake uh, a person could make is he could miss out uh, that person could miss out 
uh, that he is selling two goats at the same price. So you, if you assume uh, he made uh, the original price as hundred, and he made ten percentage on one goat. Uh, so that means he sold one goat for 110 rupees and he made 10 percentage loss on another goat so he sold for 90 rupees so if you take it like that you will get he makes no profit no loss so if you miss out this point that he sold he while selling two goats at the same price it's not the original price that is the same but selling price that is the same you shouldn't miss out that point if you miss out that point in next some hot then you will mess up this question you will get the answer wrong so that is the solution to question 12. Option C is the answer.